Today marks day 28 of the government shutdown with talks at a complete standstill. It is now a war of retaliation between the president and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi after she suggested he postpone the State of the Union. He abruptly canceled her trip to Afghanistan on a military plane. Chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl has more from Washington. John, this morning, one newspaper headline says Washington is a sandbox where the adults need a timeout. Cecilia, if we haven't already reached it, now we have reached the point of absurdity with this government shutdown. The president waited until Democratic lawmakers had already boarded the bus to leave Capitol Hill before calling off their trip. This, of course, coming after Nancy Pelosi made the extraordinary step of calling for the president to postpone or perhaps not even give it all his State of the Union address, an address that is scheduled for a week from Tuesday. In a measure of the frustration here, Lindsey Graham, Republican senator and perhaps the president's closest ally in the Senate, said both sides deserve blame. He said one sophomoric response does not deserve another. Speaker Pelosi's threat to cancel the State of the Union is very irresponsible and blatantly political. President Trump denying Speaker Pelosi military travel to visit troops in Afghanistan and our allies in Egypt and NATO is also inappropriate. Meanwhile, there is absolutely no negotiating going on. The president is not budging and Democrats are saying they won't even talk about his central demand for a wall until he reopens the government, openly comparing him to a young child. As one Democratic senator put it, you don't hand them that cookie or candy when they are screaming because then you're going to be doing that until they are 18 years old. Yeah, neither side is at the table at this point. What are you hearing from your sources there at the White House, John? Is the State of the Union going to happen on the 29th? Is that possible? Well, you talk to Democrats on the Hill, they say, no way, it's not going to happen. Meanwhile, they haven't even responded to Nancy Pelosi on that here, and they are proceeding as if it were going to happen, but I would not count on it, Cecilia. All right, John, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.